All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today I've got a very special guest. Uh, we've actually got another Canadian on the channel. So for the uh, Canadian viewers watching, uh, this one is especially going to be good, you know, good for you guys. And basically, this is Ian, and Ian discovered uh, digital marketing from the channel. So now he's coming full circle. He's back on the channel. He discovered it through a you know one an interview video just like this on the channel. And now he's back uh, full circle. And uh, Ian, thank you so much for coming on the channel. No problem, Shane. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. Uh, your origin story. Kind of just tell me maybe just a little bit about yourself, your background, and where you were when you first discovered, uh, or actually rather before you discovered digital marketing. So, you know, like, did you go to college? A little bit about your background and, and just, you know, what you were thinking in terms of your career, maybe some other jobs that you had, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So originally, um, I went to college for business management. Like I thought I was going to be like, sort of like a like a business manager, like, you know, entrepreneur. And then I really thought I'd then shift and thought my career would be in sales. So I went to do that for a bit. And then I found out like, while I was good at it, it wasn't for me. And then, you know, I was uh, actually worked at the Westin for a little bit, just kind of, you know, not really sure where to go with my career, just kind of the job I could find. And then like COVID happened and, you know, couldn't work anymore because it's all like I was an event technician. It was all like in-person events. Right. And then like about a few months later, my sister got a job at an agency uh, in marketing because that's more of her background. And they were it was a temp agency. They were actually like and like ending their their term and they needed people with like any sort of business background at all and i had that and i applied and you know she got me in and um, i'm super thankful for that and then like i said it was just supposed to be like a temporary job and i realized like wow i, I really like this and kind of continued on with digital marketing ever since then so yeah awesome okay and uh did did you say i think you mentioned that you did go to college so you went to community college what was your major uh, correct. Yeah. So I majored at first. I have two majors. So my first one was in business management and then I got another in marketing. Got it. All right. And was that a um, like a bachelor's degree or um, what What was that? Just like a college diploma. So it's like if okay. you combine the two, it's an equivalent. Of, it's an equivalent to the okay. bachelor's. So, yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um. Great. Great. So how did you discover? Okay, so you discovered digital marketing because your sister got a job at, at an agency. So how did you discover Seth's course, you know, the digital career blueprint? I was funny. I was um, after that temp agency ended, I was just trying to do things on my own. I didn't want to go back to college. Um, I've never been, you know, the best student, whatever. So I just you know, was trying to figure it out on my own doing Udemy courses and stuff. And just like, I had a few interviews, but nothing was really working. So Eventually, I decided to go back to college, you know, not knowing that this course existed. And then about like, I wasn't really happy with what I was learning from college. Uh, for example, just to learn about digital marketing, you had to wait till your senior year to like your last semester. And I'm like, there's there's got to be a better way than this. So I, I, um, I did my own research, you know, I stumbled, I've been watching your channel for a while, found your videos with Seth, and I'm like, this seems like the way, and I was, I was kind of scared because it was an investment, um, especially going through college, but I, you know, took a shot on the course and I don't regret it at all. Cause I learned, you know, way more through the course than I did through college. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So, so would you say like going back in time, if you knew what you knew now, would you say that would you maybe skip college and just go straight to a course like this? Yeah. Yeah. If I would have known, <clears throat> So if I would have known about this course, you know, after my my job with um at that temp agency, I would have just taken this course straight up and just skipped the whole college route. So got it. Got it. OK. So once you started in Seth's course, which, by the way, he calls it a course. And I've, mm -hmm. I've told him this before. He should really call it a coaching program because it's it's a coaching program. <laughs> like like yeah, there's a course no, component. To it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's actually a coaching program. Um, but he sells it at a, at a course price point, which is like much, much lower than, than a typical coaching program. Um, so after you started, uh, Seth's course, just what, what was your impression of it? Cause I know there's, there's a, there's a course part of it. There's a the coaching part of it. And then there's the community part of it. So what was your impression of those three things? Um, 
all three were great. You know, the, like the course part of it, you know, it was really nice to have like all this information at one place instead of, you know, going through here, going through there and trying to like make some match piece, uh, pieces together. Like this whole time, I'm just like, if someone could just explain it to me straight up with like one person consistently, um, I'll pay well for that. And that turned out to be, you know, Seth's course. Um, as for the community, it's been great. Um, like we, I talked to a lot of people from the course. In fact, like some of them, like I talked to, like hang out like with, with twice a week now, like we have our own little, you know, friend circle from the course. It's been awesome. Um, I've also met like a bunch of people with like similar stories to me, which is great. Um, so the community is amazing and also just like, you know, the coaching is great. You know, I've had times where, you know, I've had questions, you know, starting a position or like I've never encountered this, you know, this issue, you know, has Nick or Ivy, like the coaches, you know, like they can help me out with that. And, you know, I think that's really awesome, especially, you know, it's like every week there, uh, there's two, there's two coaching calls. Mm -hmm. So I think that's like really incredible. We get all this, you know, in one package. So it's, uh, it's, it's great. And now it's, uh. I like all three aspects for sure. That's awesome. Okay. And how long did it take you to finish the, uh, the program? Yeah, it took me a little bit longer because I was in school. Um, I tried to kind of like went back and forth between the two, but I think it took me in total about like nine months to complete the course. So, okay, got it. And then once you completed the course, how long did it take you to get a job? Right away. Um, like as soon as I got out of school, I got an internship. And then, cause like I said, a lot of, a lot of times, like they don't teach the practical skills. They need someone with Google ads. And like, I had that. Right. Um, and then, you know, shortly after I got a, my first like big agency position and, you know, now I'm at another agency. So yeah, it's uh, it's worked out pretty well for me so far. So love it. Okay. So what was your first position? Was it kind of just like, uh, learn everything involved in digital marketing type of thing, or was it pay-per-click SEO? Like what was your first position all about? Um, we talking like after school or like my temp agency thing? Um, after school. Yeah. After you okay. took the course. Yeah. So after I took the course, my first position, um, it was kind of a bit of everything. It was mostly Google ads. They, they really want to do that. They had another agency that were doing Facebook ads with, and it just like wasn't working. Um, so it was a lot of stuff on Google ads. It was quite a bit of like SEO, like on page as well. Um, they didn't really have anyone for that. It was a very small, well, not, it was a small organic food company. Um, so it was like, I was doing a lot, but it was, uh, it was a really cool business. You know, people are great and, you know, I learned a lot from that. So. Okay. Got it. And then how about your, uh, second job that you, that you just got a few months ago? What, what are you doing there? Like my, my new one or my previous agency? Yeah. Yeah. Your, your, your new one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, as for my new one, um, that one's a much more specialized position. I'm a PPC specialist. Um, so I do a lot of Google ads, a lot of Facebook ads, um, primarily in residential and commercial real estate. That's our main industry, but we do, we work with a lot of different businesses, you know, in the city and like, you know, in, on, in the province. So that's, uh, that's been really cool. And I also do quite a bit of SEO for them as well. I do like a lot of on-page and technical SEO for this agency too. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Got it. Okay. So everyone wants to know, this is a, everyone, you know, is dying to know, Let, let's talk about the money, right? So. Right. What, what was that, um, you know, after taking the course, after graduating that first one that you landed, what were you getting paid there? And then the one that you just got, you know, you, whatever you're comfortable sharing, what, what were you getting paid now? Right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah. So my first one, you know, I wasn't like, I was making enough to cover the bills, but it was sort of more for a learning experience. So I think I was only making like, just like a little bit under 40 there. It was mm -hmm. like 37,000. Um, but I knew it was just like a, it's a four month contract. It's like more of a learning experience. And then on my new one now, like I, I can't say the actual number, but I'll give you a range. It's, it's between right now, between like 53 and 63,000. So awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I mean, that's amazing that within just a very short period of time, you've gotten like a significant raise and, and that's what you can do in digital marketing. And a few years down the line, like there's a very good chance if, if you want to, if you want to push it, you could make it to six figures. Right. So y yeah. That's absolutely yeah. possible in digital marketing. So that's awesome. That's that's exciting, man. And congratulations for that. Congratulations uh, on landing the new job as well. So um, let's talk about job satisfaction and work-life balance. So you've had some, I, I assume, uh, you know, you had the temp agency job before you took Seth's course, and then you've gotten two jobs after that. Um, tell me about your job satisfaction, work-life balance for 
you know, digital marketing related careers versus non-digital marketing related careers? Yeah. I mean, digital marketing's a lot better work-life balance, a lot better job satisfaction. Um, what I was doing before I worked at a, worked at a hotel, I was like 10 hour days, um, as a technician pushing around like 300 pound carts, had to wear like all black, you know, it wasn't air conditioned in the employee sections. It was, it was really rough. Um, versus now it's just like, you know, I can have much more control of my schedule. You know, people respect me a whole lot more. Um, it's just a way better environment. You know, I feel like I can learn a lot more. I feel like this is like more of a, you know, more of a career, more of a long-term thing. And I'm, I'm very fortunate for that. So. Awesome. Okay. And are you working remote by the way? Um, no, I'm in, yeah, no, I'm in, I'm in office, but the nice thing is it's like, I'm very close by to my office. So I don't really mind too much right now. Um, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And you, of course, you always have the option to, to work remote in the future if you, if you want to. So, yeah, that's going to be one of the things I'm going to be probably asking for if I stay here. So or like gotcha. hybrid at least. So, yeah. Got you. Yeah. A lot of people are telling me that they, you know, at first they thought they wanted to work remote. Well, not a lot of people, but a, a few people have told me at first they wanted <laughs> to work remote, but then they actually prefer hybrid because they kind of like going into the office a little bit, just not five yeah. days a week. You know, they, they like going in and interacting, but not five days a week. <laughs> yeah like i think i think i don't know like i'll i'm just it's i like remote but i think i think hybrid is kind of where i like because it, it is nice to see my coworkers. you know i do you know i hang out with them every day at lunch and just like you know i, I work with i'm very fortunate for the people i work for so uh, and like my team around me so it's it's great to you know see them in person as well so yeah for sure for sure Awesome. So what would you say to somebody who is kind of on the fence about jumping into the coaching program, you know, the, the digital career blueprint, um, which by the way, guys, if you're confused about any of the uh, terminology we're using here, pay-per-click, like PPC, SEO, any of this stuff, um, Seth actually does have a free training, which I'll put down in the description in the pinned comment below, which will explain all of that stuff. It'll explain, you know, why digital marketing is such a good opportunity and how you can get into it. Uh, so definitely check that out down there. Um, but yeah, <laughs> as I was always saying, um, what would you say to somebody who's kind of on the fence about uh, joining Seth's course? Um, I'd say just, you know, just go for it. It can be kind of scary. Like I did, I did my research for months before I bought the course. Like I, I saw your video. I watched like all of the interviews, um, like literally all of them before the course. Like I, I took, I did my research and, you know, I went, I went out on limb. I got it and I don't regret it at all. It's, one of the best investments I've ever made. So if you're on the fence and you think this is for you, like I strongly recommend it. It's hard to get a better ROI than that, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like probably you're going to end up with a 1000 X ROI or something like something ridiculous. I'm like already that. at like <laughs> somewhere between 30 to 50 now, you know, like yeah. it's, it's going well. Yeah. But like, it's honestly, the, the ROI is great. Um, and it's like you land one like decent position it you know pays for the the course pays for itself in so. the first in the first week probably in yeah the first yeah, few yeah days. for real yeah. for real yeah yeah <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome okay so are there any personality traits that tend to do better in digital marketing or does it not really matter does is there kind of like you know whether you're an introvert an extrovert your um, artistic, analytical, does it does it really matter? Or you, can you find like a, a good place for you depending on the company you work for or that type of thing? Well, I think marketing so broad, it doesn't really matter if you're like introverted, extroverted. Um, I've seen like all different personalities. I've seen a lot of people who are like very like artsy, you know, like myself. Um, I also seen people that are very analytical, like, like my sister, you know, she's still in digital marketing right now. Um, so I think there's like, it doesn't really matter enough personality types. I will say there's like certain things though, there's certain traits, like all the people that I've ran across, they're all like self learners that they all spent the time to, you know, learn a bit more and, you know, they're not, they always want to improve their knowledge. And then also, um, I also know that's like one trait that's very common is like adaptability, you know, digital marketing is changing so fast, right? So it's like, you have to be adaptable. You have to be, you know, willing to adjust and, you know, you know, pivot a little bit and like, you know, continue learning. So like, I think just, you know, being able to be like a self learner and being adaptable is our two essential traits to digital marketing. So. Got it. And do you feel like you learned a lot at the, at, at your, your past job and then your current job? Did you feel like you learned a lot? 
Oh yeah. No, I learned a lot. Um, you know, still learning, still got a ways to go, but I've, I've been learning a lot and I'm very, I'm very thankful for it. So yeah. is, is it learning like drinking water through a, a, a fire hose? Like it's just too much or, or is no. it kind of, kind of like you're learning at a really, you know, enjoyable pace kind of thing? No, like it's, it's more of an enjoyable pace. Like if it, okay. if I felt like I was like learning through a fire hose, like I would, you know, I'd stand up for that, you know, cause like I, I really value my work-life balance. Like I don't like to be overwhelmed. So, you know, I'm a hard worker, but I don't like to be overwhelmed. So yeah, if I felt like it was too much, like I would, I would just let them know. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's a nice pace right now. And I'm very thankful for that. Got it. And then if there was one piece of advice that you could give to someone who is trying to get into digital marketing, what would it be? Um, just, just, you know, fail as fast as possible. You know, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to, things aren't going to go perfectly. I made a ton of mistakes at, at the start. Um, but you know, you just got to get through it, just get around it. And then, you know, once you, you know, learn these things, you're on, you know, you're coming from experience and, you know, you get better and you can, you can improve. So, um, I was kind of scared to, you know, apply to my first job or, you know, go to my first digital marketing interview or, you know, have my first, like more senior position, but, and of course I made mistakes along the way, but you know, I just kind of went, went for it, kept going and I'm very thankful I did. So. Great. So I've got, a, I've got a good one for you. Yeah. Is there anything I should have asked you that I didn't? I don't think so. Honestly, you, you did doing a really good job so far. I, um, I, I hit all the good ones. I hit all the, the good I, questions. I think okay. so. I think so. Yeah. Awesome. Well, hey, anyone watching this, if you have any other questions, comment them down below. Maybe he'll see it. You know, maybe I'll see it. You know, never know. Right. Um, but uh, Ian, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Full circle moment. You know, you you discovered it through my channel and then now you're back on the channel. So that's that's got to be awesome. It's super awesome for me uh, whenever I, you know, you know, interview people that discovered it through my channel. So uh, thanks for coming on the channel and uh, have a good one, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, Shane. And yeah, it's a full circle moment for sure. And um, yeah, no, thank you once again. Have a good one.